yeah so it's 1 15 I decided to make another video I had some shit on my mind and you know I do this shit for the fun of it in the past time and the nigga have shit on his mind but let me go ahead and jump onto it this shit is basically my view of 2011 and shit so yeah let's jump into this shit uh, shout out to my rock boy fam. I do this shit every time, you know. But they every day. Um, shout out to everybody I met in high school. Shout out to my track coach. Shout out to Coach Ease. That's my nigga. Coach motherfucking Ease. You my nigga. Um, you probably wondering why I look cold. It's cause I am. Niggas don't know how to turn on the fucking heat in here. So a nigga freezing and shit. Yeah. But, um, 2011 was interesting. It was full of bullshit. Good times, bad times, a fucked up relationship, all that good shit, you know, all that good shit and bad shit. But you know, um, last year basically proved to me how fucked up our generation is. It's like very, very fucked. Um, shit just got real. Shit's supposed to get real this year, but it ain't. I don't think it is for us. I guess I'll see y'all on the other side. Um, I start school in like two fucking days, and a nigga ain't happy about this shit at all. Really not bullshit. Um, you know I gotta get y'all in on the pennies, nigga. Fucking pennies, nigga. Take a look at these shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Exclusive. Exclusive. Michael Jordan, that's why I wear your punk ass shoes. And another nigga died over them Concords. Michael Jordan, you gonna say anything? You're just gonna be a little bitch. I think you're gonna be a little bitch. And listen, let you know, you want, you, you, you want it. You, if you want it, I mean, shit. You can get it. You can get it. I don't really give a shit. I ain't got shit to lose. You can get it. I beat your ass, nigga. Nigga. Hey. Nah, enough about that. Um. Uh, I had a failed relationship last year. It was fucked up. I mean, it was my last anyway, but it's just, it was fucked up. And I can honestly say the only thing I really miss about that relationship is the head. Yeah, she gave some good head in the middle, t in the middle towards the end. But the beginning, it was too much teeth, too much teeth. And that's a um, that's a tip for y'all ladies. If you're using too much teeth in your head game, um, it's not gonna be pleasant for us because I just I wanted to feel like a bitch has no teeth. And yeah, it it, it wasn't. It wasn't hidden until, you know, like the end of relationship. Nah. Till one of y'all girls know how to, you know. You know, hold up, hold up. Fuck it. Y'all compete with this. Till y'all start competing with this. This always gonna be our right hand man. <laughs> Alright. Telling you. Ain't nobody know how to touch us like ourselves. Real shit. But, you know. Only thing I really didn't get about that whole motherfucking relationship was in the beginning she told me she never gave head. But when she gave me head, it didn't seem like she was a stranger to this shit. It seemed like she was Well, it seemed like she did this shit a couple of times. She won't no stranger to this shit. She she had a little experience. And that's why I think she fucking lied to me, but oh well she's somebody else probably now, somebody else getting the head. Shots out to you nigga. Whoever the fuck you are. But um, shout out to Whitney. That's one of my my girls that's been there for a minute. I love you, and you know, you always gonna be cool. Um, what else? Um, shit. That's really pretty much it. And um, for all y'all niggas that doubted me, all y'all people that don't like me, just fucking hate me, don't like me for no reason, and especially. Especially for my fucking exes. Well, a certain select few of my exes. I have a little message for you. Suck my dick.